Hey, I'm Tom, I'm a senior producer at Spirit Digital, and I'm gonna give you some top tips on how to use video for Small Business Saturday. So, why video? The first reason I think of is discoverability. If people are trying to find you, or you are trying to find things, let's be honest, you're probably gonna go on a search engine, and you're probably gonna go on Google. YouTube is owned by Google, the two are completely linked. So if that means people are searching for the type of service or product that you offer, you're much more likely to be found if you've got good quality video on YouTube. The second reason I can really think of is engagement. So when you're on the internet and you're looking at pictures on Instagram or you're reading blogs, you might not stay with them very long. Let's be honest, a picture, maybe five, 10 seconds. But a video, it could be 30 seconds, it could be two minutes, it could be five minutes, depending on how you do this and how well you do this. So engagement can be a lot longer if you make good quality video. The third reason is sentiment. A good video can get the passion you have for your business and your brand across to your customers that no other medium really can. And that passion, that feeling through video can create really big advocates for you and your brand. So that was the why, now the what. How are you gonna make this video? What's it gonna look like? You keep it really simple and do exactly what I'm doing right now. Grab a camera, grab a phone, talk straight down the lens, straight to your customer and say exactly what it is you wanna get across in this video. Or if you don't fancy doing that, you could do interview style. You could write a list of questions and get a friend to ask you them. Or if you wanted to get across what other people think of your business, you could interview staff members or even your customers. So you don't just want interviews, you want what we call cutaways. So grab your camera and go around and get some beautiful shots of whatever your product or service is to put into your video to show off your small business. Okay, and then the last thing you've got to think about is music. Everyone loves music, it will drastically improve your video. So a great free resource for you is youtube.com forward slash audio library. Completely free to use, so use as much as you want, go nuts. Just be careful with music, don't use anything copyrighted because it could get you into trouble. Great, now you've got all your footage, you've got your music, now it's time to piece it together, which is what we call editing. Now this isn't a challenging thing, this isn't tricky, so don't get daunted by it. There's loads of free bits of software out there, such as iMovie for Macs or Windows Movie Maker, that are great for piecing these sort of videos together. The first place I'd start is with your interviews. So lay them out on the track and cut into a narrative what you're trying to get across. So start with the beginning of your story, get a good middle and a really great end. And then over the top of that, you're gonna put your cutaways to show off the products that you're talking about during the video and then sit underneath a nice little music track. So let me quickly talk to you a little bit about beginnings and ends, because that's kind of the important bit of your video, really. So online, you have between five and eight seconds to really capture someone's attention. So don't do a long 30 second montage of your product, as beautiful as it will probably look. Get straight into talking about it, really get their attention right at the beginning. And then at the very end, think about your call to action. What are you trying to do to people? Are you trying to drive them to your product, or to a website, or to your Facebook? Also subscribe to your YouTube channel, figure that one out. And then if I was you, deliver it straight down the camera, straight to your audience. Or if you want to, do it through text or annotations on YouTube. So the masterpiece is done. Now what do you do with it? Put it up on YouTube. I'd probably put it up a few days in advance, but just uploading it's not the end of the story. You've got to think about title, description, and tags. These are so important. YouTube can only search what you give it. It can only search through words. It can't search through the video itself. So how you title it, how you describe it, how you tag it, it's so important for people to be able to discover your video. And then probably put up a custom thumbnail so people really want to click on it. And then once you've done that, I'd probably put it up natively on Facebook. Facebook Auto Play is a big part of the industry now. When people come across your video on Facebook, it auto plays, people start seeing your message straight away. And then share it, share it with your friends, share it with your customers, get your staff to send it out, get people watching. Because as soon as YouTube sees those views racking up, it starts thinking you're a quality video maker. And then before the day and as the day happens, start sharing with the hashtag on Twitter and Facebook. It's so key to getting your message across and to being part of that conversation and being part of Small Business Saturday and sharing other people's video is what it's all about. So no one's expecting an award-winning masterpiece here, but I'm sure whatever you come up with will be great. So don't forget to use the hashtag. I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with.